Damon, welcome to the pod. Gary, thank you very much for having me. Delighted to be on. This grabbed my attention in a major way on Twitter last week. So that's not a fake background that you're actually sitting in a pub. No, it's not a fake background. It's not one of the virtual backgrounds in Zoom. Um, I, I've resorted to the, the real background now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant. It's uh, still pinching myself. Um, and yeah, thanks again for, for mentioning us last week. I had a, I had a listen. Someone actually uh, sent me it. Um, I think it was on Facebook or something like that. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm always and, uh, curious yeah. how people hear about stuff because then yeah. I'm, if I don't send it to them, I'm like, oh, cool, people are listening. Exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, we were trying Everyone chose. that didn't listen last week, what's going on? What are you doing? What was going on? Well, do you know what? Maybe you were the, the spark of it all because um, since then it's kind of it's kind of blown up a little. But, uh, yeah, essentially um, this is my, my new home. This is um, essentially a sitting room behind me. It's not, it's not a, a functioning pub. Um, but, yeah... Basically, what happened was over the last couple of months before this kind of popped up, I was, I was looking for a place to live out in the west of Ireland because working from home was uh, a possibility now. Um, I myself have a production company in Dublin, but a lot of the work I can do remotely because you know, we've, we've freelance crew uh, on the ground back in Dublin. So um, yeah, one day I was, I was scrolling on, on Daft and this popped up. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, this is, this is outrageous. There's a, there's a pub out in the west of Ireland up for rent, and they're actually in the description. It said that they were looking for creatives to take it over. So uh, absolutely just picked up the phone straight away then and there and was like, we want to come see it. So I told my friend Dermy about it. Uh, we went down, hopped in the car, uh, came down to Ennis Diamond, stayed over for the night and uh, viewed the place. I just fell in love with not only the building, but fell in love with the, the town and the surrounding areas. Like it's, uh, it's insane. So you live in a pub. So as it stands, yeah, I, I live in a pub. We, we still have, we still have our, uh, our house back in, uh, in Dublin, but um, for the time being, um, yeah, the intention is to live here for a while, but not only that, we want to turn it into a creative space. We want to, basically not just keep it for ourselves that is a great thing and it's a great novelty to have your own uh, private private pub and you know our, our living space is obviously upstairs we're not sleeping on the bar or anything behind us um, <laughs> but essentially we we're like you know why not why not do something good with it let's you know share this with people again the place is steeped in history you know you've got Willie Daly who used to who actually uh, uh, started the pub in his family and he's he's actually the the uh, founder of the Matchmaking Festival in Lisden Varna, I'm sure you're familiar with. But uh, he himself, we've been back and forth with the Daily Family, and they're actually delighted that we're in, and to, to see a new lease of life coming through is, is great. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed now we can, you know, um, find a way to make use of it for the likes of musicians, creatives, artists, uh, all that kind of stuff, and and create maybe virtual events, you know, live videos or video series, you know, live events, diff different stuff like that. Mm. Thinking outside the box because as it currently stands, you know, there's, there's not much else that can be done other than digital stuff. And what a better, there's no real better way to do it than in a private pub, I guess. Yeah, I think a lot of people listening and it's going to go up on YouTube as well. So if you are listening to the podcast, hop up on YouTube and you'll see Kim in, in, in the pub. It's a real functional pub. So everything behind you is, is as would be in a normal pub. As a normal pub. It actually closed down at the, 20, uh, the end of 2019. And uh, they literally closed the doors, locked up and left. Like there's literally kegs still, empty kegs sitting in the corner there. And um, there's all sorts still behind the bar, little niggly bits. There's all the posters and memorabilia and stuff like that hanging on the walls. It's, it's really special. I think that's the amazing thing about it. It wasn't just an empty shell. There, there's still those little bits of history uh, dotted around the place, which makes it even, even better. I think it's, it's impossible because like your, your launch video and stuff was so good. Cause I was like, you just, the door opens and the fire is on. And I was like, Oh wow. It's like a flashback. Like it's not been that long since we're in lockdown, but like it's like a flashback of those winter nights <laughs> going out of a couple of pints of Guinness and watch the football or whatever. So like, what, what, what was it like when you, when you moved in, like what, what, what was the thoughts? Like, what were you thinking? What was, did you move down just with the plan of like, Oh, this to be a bit of crack or did you move down going, Oh, we can turn it into something or what was the plan? Yeah, so like when I was actually looking for a new space out in the West, 
the idea was literally to just have some sort of like house and I'd work for my laptop. But as soon as this property actually popped up and I saw it, then the cogs started turning and ideas started flying into my head and then bouncing off Anya and, and Dermy, who are, who are now part of this as well. We were like, my God, there's actually endless amounts of things that we can do. And the reason for that as well is, I suppose, is our backgrounds. So like, for instance, like myself, I own a, I own a, a video and photo production company in, in Dublin um, and like, you know, bringing that kind of skill to it as well, I thought was unique. And then the same with Anya, she has a social media um you know, she's a social media creative and she's a consultant as well. So her background in that sense was huge. And then same again for uh, Dermy, who has, you know, like over 10 years experience in digital communications and uh, event. Dur Dermy's not a real barman. Dermy's not a real barman. Um, no, You're breaking the bubble here. You're breaking the third wall or whatever it's called. <laughs> Yeah, we've given him uh, an alter ego name. I think we've decided to call him Podrick when he's behind the bar. Okay, but, uh, good. It's, yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> he's essentially uh, do. He's a, he's a bit of an impressionist himself, and he does. He likes to do a lot of impressions of uh, his local barman back in Raccoon. So uh, okay. Yeah. So what are the guys? Were they? Did you pitch it to them, or were they like going, oh, "Okay, Cayman, yeah, sounds, <laughs> sounds great." Yeah. <laughs> I did on that first. I did think uh, a lot of people. Th that's the mad thing as well. Even in general, I thought a lot of people were like, "You are crazy. This is mental. Like, what are you doing?" But um, I think people were, you know, same with Dermy and Anya. They were just like, "Oh my god, this is something different. This is, you know, you know, there's nothing else that we can really do at the moment." Um, and we just felt like there was definitely a story and a journey uh, that could be, you know, taken here and. Um, definitely we, we thought there was there was room here to do some good and like absolutely you know like again helping our friends who are other creatives and you know giving them a space to, to make use of but like on top of that as well it's even from a lifestyle perspective we just thought it made so much sense because you know we you know with the way Dublin is at the moment everything's fairly quiet um so we were like feck it you know being down here would probably make a lot of sense considering we like to we, we swim a lot so we're like five minutes down the road from La Hinch um, and then you know as well as that we've, we've also got these lovely little uh, local local spots you know in terms of like Doolin the Cliffs of Moher all these all these different places that we can actually go visit and um, make use of in, in terms of like our outdoor experiences. Yeah, your Instagram is definitely kind of lifestyle goals. Like it's, it's, yeah, the whole thing, it ties in. What about the locals? What have they thought of this whole, like these three people coming down, living in the pub? Okay. <laughs> so, I know. Well, like I said, there's, um, there's so much history in the place. So uh, we were obviously very wary of that when we came into the place and 100% still want to absolutely respect that. And uh, there was, it was by no means, there was, there was no way that you could literally, anyone could come in and just decide to bulldoze into NS Diamond and say, we're here, this is what we're doing. Um, but like I said earlier, we're, we've been back and forth with uh, the Daily family and they absolutely love the ideas that we have and love the fact that we're uh, giving it a new lease of life and in a more, I suppose, in a, in a modern way. Um, but in terms of locals in general, my God, like we've been inundated with messages on Instagram uh, we set up a page there, Daily's and Simon, and I was going to hold, hold that thought for one second. I actually literally pulled it up. I followed it just before we sat down. Two thousand eight hundred dollars. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when was that set up? And that local, what's that? When was that set up? That was set up about three days ago. Was it three, four days ago? That's unreal. I kind of knew the answer. I just wanted you to. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that's phenomenal. Like that, you, you've captured yeah. a bit of magic. And I think this touches, I think why it captured my attention. And I, I sent it to so many of my mates. I was like, look at this, look at this good story. It's just a little bit of magic, a little bit of creativity in a very dark time. Yeah, absolutely. And like, yeah, that's the thing, you know, especially uh, coming up to, to Christmas and stuff like that. I think the pub is seen as one of those places where people come together. And I think that narrative in itself as well you know has been reflected in the fact that people are coming to our instagram page you know people are kind of gathering in that sense and we hope to gather people in a virtual sense there because that is what the pub is for and we're coming up to christmas i know anytime i go back home to west Meath, the, the first place i'm going to is to see my mates in the pub see family members in the pub you know uh, catch up have a few drinks and uh, share stories 
you know, have a bit of laughter. Like it's, it's they're, they're the moments that we kind of look forward to. And I feel like in a virtual sense, that's what we're trying to capture. We want to, we want to do that. And we want to be able to share the joy that we're going to have in here with absolutely everyone and as many people as we can, you know. I love it. Where can people, we've touched on a little bit already, but where can people learn more and follow and involved in the journey? Yeah, well, like we were talking about there, the Instagram page is probably the best one. Um, between myself, Dermy, and Anya, we're, we're hopping on there, uh, checking in and, you know, sharing stories. And um, yeah, so it's, it's dailies.enestimon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Enestimon spelt with a Y. I think it's technically spelt with an I, but the locals, we've been informed, it's, it's, it's a Y. So I it's kind of like a hinch and la hinch. I think that's another thing as well. I never uh, figured that out. Yeah, Ellie and Leigh. Yeah, yeah. you'll have to get to the bottom of, of what the reason is. But yeah, dailies.enestimon, or if you want to uh, reach out to myself or, or the lads uh, on our own personal pages, you can do that either. Um, but yeah, we're, we're essentially looking for you know, people to reach out if they have ideas, you know, even other businesses. I'm sure there's other entrepreneurs that are listening right now. Um, if, uh, if you guys have, have any kind of ideas, throw them our way. We're, we're looking to collaborate um, and, you know, create some good stories and uh, some good memories. Class, listen, thank you so much for coming on the pod. Gary, you're an absolute gent. Thanks, Mel.